Nowadays, so many women, they suffer from some skin disorders mm -hmm. and they're not teenagers anymore. So what Ayurveda says about skin problems and from where it appears? Well, uh, first of all, for the women, it's very important to have nice, beautiful skin because it's a sign of beauty. And uh, I think Ayurveda is the right uh, solution for these problems because in Ayurveda, we understand the skin very nicely. You, know. you will be uh, amazed to know that uh, the Ayurvedic uh, saints, you know, the, the people who wrote Ayurvedic books, they have described there are seven layers of the skin. Even in the modern medicine, they, I think they talk about three layers or four layers. But in Ayurveda, they have described seven layers. And each layer they have described what kind of uh, toxins will be deposited, uh, what kind of diseases will appear because if toxins are in the second layer, which disease will happen? If the toxins are in the fifth layer, then which kind of skin disease will happen? So it's a quite detailed description. Uh, trying to understand what causes skin problems. Of course, in Ayurveda, our prime causes are Vata, Pitta and Kapha. When there is too much Vata in the skin, it can cause something like dry skin or wrinkles in the skin. When there is too much Pitta in the skin, it can cause acne, pimples, you know, some pigmentation or dark circles under the eye. If there is too much kapha, it can also cause some kind of pimples which are not so so much like burning. They are more like thick, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, nodules can be there. So there is, uh, the skin problems can be caused by various uh, doshas. And we know that doshas are normally increased by wrong food and wrong lifestyle. So I would say in general, we should try to maintain a balance of these do doshas. But just talking from a very general platform, you know, I will say mostly skin diseases are pitta oriented because most females, they will have problems with acne, pimples, pigmentation, dark circles, you know, some kind of, you know, itching, rashes, burning. So pitta should be always, you know, controlled. So be careful not to eat too much pitta type of foods. And what is exactly pitta type of food? So it's the food which is warming up in nature. Yeah, so foods which are uh, heating in nature, foods which are acidic, uh, this includes uh, anything which is sour or uh, anything which is very spicy, even foods which are very oily in nature, you know, a lot of oil, fried foods. Also, uh, pitta is connected with, uh, you know, things which are increasing a lot of, you know, heat, we say fire. So, for example, any food which is heating in nature, uh, meat, for example, or uh, drinks like alcohol, smoking, hot climate, you know, living in the, uh, uh, working in the sun, staying in the sun for a long time. So you, you can see that when some people are in the sun, their skin gets problem. So anything which is heating is going to create a problem. So what we should eat in order to have a beautiful, fairless skin? Well, drink a lot of water, of course, because that will cool down the heat in the body. Watermelon is very nice, cucumber is very nice, of course, uh, lettuce, salad, and uh, zucchini, pumpkin, squash, all these are very nice. Rice, you can eat boiled rice, you can eat different kind of porridges. Make sure you don't put like uh, hot spices into that. So avoid chilies or, you know, hot spices. You can use cumin, coriander, or fennel, or mint. These are like cooling spices, they can be used, but not even uh, avoid too much salt also. And of course, uh, as I said, do not eat things which are heating in nature. So you have to understand that if you want to have a fair and beautiful and glowing skin, so it's not about just applying those chemicals on the skin. This is very important because most of the things that people apply on the face are chemicals whether it is some cream or it is makeup or it is even some kind of, you know, so-called rejuvenating cream or even treatment for acne, treatment for pimples, it's all chemical based. Yes. So in Ayurveda we say, don't put anything on your skin which you cannot eat. So if you have to really use something on the skin, there are so many things available. You can make a paste of avocado, you can apply that. You can make a paste of, you know, watermelon or just, you know, aloe vera is very good. Fresh aloe vera, if you can get, apply that. So use natural things. We can prepare so many things in our kitchen 
for different types of skin problems you should be just a little bit curious to understand and curious to do something which is you know natural then there are there are so many things available already so I guess many women nowadays they use these chemicals and lots of makeup which really have big impact on their skin and skin disorders, right? Yes, definitely because uh, this is something which is going into the pores of the skin. So maybe temporarily it makes you look uh, you know, beautiful or it makes uh, that your skin is looking good but actually it is hiding your skin. You are actually putting some fake thing on the top of the skin. So, uh, after the makeup is removed, you will see that the skin is more tired, the skin is more um, bad. So, I will suggest you that you should please uh, use natural things, you know. Now there are natural products also available. In Jiva also we make lot of natural creams, you know, we make carrot cream, cucumber cream, olive cream. There are face, <coughs> face washes we make, we make also some kind of, you know, uh, toners for the skin. These natural things are available, so we should go for them. Because the skin is eating as well. Yes. I would like to speak about acne. That is the big problem nowadays for the women. Is there any home remedies or natural treatments for this yeah, sickness? For acne, yes, we have very good treatments. You know, simple thing, uh, if you can find fresh coriander uh, leaves, you take a juice from that. And in the juice, let's say it's one tablespoon of juice, uh, mix a pinch of uh, turmeric powder. So it becomes a kind of a small paste and apply this in the acne and pimples it's very effective or if you can find the sandalwood powder sandalwood powder mixed with equal quantity of turmeric powder you know, this this you make a paste from this drops drop of some water or you can make a paste with milk and apply this on the acne and the pimples it's very effective simple things you can do try this this is very effective plus we should be very careful with our diet and eating if we have acne i guess yeah of course diet is always important in ayurveda we say that whenever we have any problem whether it is in the skin or it's in the outer part of the body so the cause is definitely inside so while we are using external applications and external treatments, we have to also find out what is the root cause. If it is pitta, so we have to make sure we don't eat heating foods. But in general, for a good skin, we should eat a lot of cucumbers, you should eat watermelon, coconut is very good, green vegetables are very nice, all the leafy vegetables are good, salad is very good, almonds are very nice, you can soak almonds in the night and in the morning remove the skin and eat them, you know, almonds are very nourishing, even because uh, in the skin we often use this vitamin E. Yes. So almonds contain that, you know, even all these kind like flax seeds, and some you know omega 3 omega 6 you, this which is becoming very popular now so these uh, things are good for skin you know so we should also uh, have food for our skin from inside and also from outside yes because we must uh, apply things from outside because that will work locally mm -hmm. it will go into the skin layers and it will remove the toxins from there because they are it's easy rather than going from the inner root and then internally we have to make sure that we do not increase the cause. So uh, in Ayurveda we don't do things like you know you are working to cure something and at the same time you are increasing the cause of the same thing. Okay. So then it doesn't work. So we have to always uh, work uh, at two levels of course external as well as internal. Mm -hmm.